Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Trilby's Notes. Um, Sealbond's gone. Let's go ahead and check out our new note. Pick up note. Victim 3, Freehorn. The third man who desired judgment was Freehorn, who had brought... Oh, who had bought from those who made luxuries with the wood that was the prince's soul. The prince came and struck down the lover of Freehorn, and Freehorn knew the name of the king. And Freehorn said, I know you now, O prince who was the arrogant man, and I anticipate your wish, and I will devote myself to spreading the teachings you have brought me and the love of our king. And the prince was satisfied, and Freehorn called all those who would listen, and they formed an order of blessed agonies that would work to redeem the follies of the men of technology. Creepy. Um, let's go back to the... Uh, the display hall. I think I saw something down that way. Um, if I remember right, it was a uh, uh, a sign that hangs outside an inn, like old times, way back when. And uh, you can also see it in some villages these days, actually. So let's head back that direction. Uh, we can't. We can't get there in this world. Let's take a pill. I took another pill and waited for the anxiety to lift, but it did not. To my unending concern, I realized that the decay of the alternate hotel had spread either to me or the pills, and they no longer worked. I had to find a way to restore their effect, or at least another method of calming myself. Fantastic, we can't go back. From somewhere to the west, I heard the familiar sound of a door being unlocked. Go check it out. Blankman, what are you doing? I did skip text again. He pretty much... He pretty much said what I said. What are you doing? So, open door. Alright, there's a hole in the wall. Open door. Um, okay, so there's bugs and bone. Um, I'm gonna think that, uh, as an adventurer, we should probably try and distract the bugs, so let's go see if we can find something to distract them with. Um, doesn't look like there's anything in here. Let's open the door. Yeah, there's this lovely piece of meat here. Let's, uh, take some meat. I tore off a lump of meat to take with me. If I came up against anything hostile and carnivorous in this place, it would help to have something other than myself to offer it. Alright, so let's go see if we can feed the uh, bugs that meat. Use meat on bugs. Alright, they've all scattered to the meat. Let's go ahead and cross over. I noticed this little dripping water here, and if you look down right by Trilby's feet, there's a hand that seems to be preserved. Let's look at water. In the far corner of the room was a puddle of water, created by drips from above. It had a curious color to it, and the drops seemed to glow with their own illumination. The liquid is having a strange effect on the nearby corpse. Let's drink the water. It was almost as if the water was drawing me to it. Not like a scrabbling thing in my mind, but the tr like the chisel or the painting, but more like a beckoning siren. I couldn't help myself. I crouched down and dipped my hands in. It felt uncommonly refreshing, and brought an amount up to my lips, my unhygienic surroundings forgotten. As a pleasant feeling of simultaneous coolness and warmth spread from my stomach, I realized that the water had some sort of rejuvenating effect. I had no explanation for this, but at the time, I didn't care. I was beginning to feel in the back of my mind the familiar tickling sensation that indicated a reality shift, so I swiftly scooped a few drops of the liquid into my pill bottle, shaking it through the remaining pills. Alright, so our pills work again. That's awesome. There is a bottle of booze up in the wine, there, wine rack there, but we can't grab it quite yet, so we'll go ahead and... Leave the kitchen. 
open door and we'll go see about uh, touching the object open door oh Traw Hall's here I didn't seduce her, dude. I kicked her in the face. You ignorant mother son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, 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 um, let's ask about the unicorn. Uh, ask Chahal about the unicorn. Have to be specific. Ah, you noticed my shingle. <laughs> Dates all the way back to the Elizabethan period. That's pretty fresh. But no one wants to buy it. I wonder why. It's freaking creepy. That's why. All this stuff is creepy. To assess the tex texture. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't break it, Trilby. Might want to, but... Don't. I'll go ahead and cut it here and pick up in the next one with the next vision. Thanks for watching and see me next time.